In English, we have these things called binomials. There are many of them, and we use them all the time. Binomials are basically just two words connected by a conjunction. Usually, the conjunction is and, but there are also many binomials that use different conjunctions. Maybe you've heard the expression safe and sound. For example, we arrived safe and sound. That is a binomial. And the meaning of safe and sound is just safe, not injured, not hurt. And what's interesting about binomials is that usually we can't switch the order of the two words. So we say safe and sound, but we never say sound and safe. If I heard someone say that, I would probably understand it, but it definitely sounds wrong. So today, we're going to look at six binomials that I use all the time in my daily life. The first one that I want to talk about is out and about. When we say that someone is out and about, it means that they are outside of their home, going different places, doing different things. I'm going to be out and about most of the day, but I'll call you when I get home. She's a really busy person. She's always out and about. Second, we have fair and square. It basically just means fair and honest. They said that our team cheated. However, we didn't. We won fair and square. We tried our best, but they beat us fair and square. Our third binomial today is wait and see. This basically means that right now we don't know. But if we wait, we will find out. Let's wait and see what he does before we make any decisions. I think the product will be very popular, but let's wait and see. And binomial number four today is short and sweet. Short and sweet basically means that the communication was short, not long. And it was a good short. Everyone is happy that it was short and easy to understand. Remember to keep the presentation short and sweet. The CEO does not like to spend time listening to unnecessary information. The meeting was short and sweet. Everyone was happy for it to end quickly. And our fifth binomial for this video is sick and tired. When someone is sick and tired of something, they are not actually sick. And they're probably not actually tired. It just means that they are very annoyed with something that keeps happening again and again. He's sick and tired of his family members asking him for money. I'm sick and tired of people telling me that they don't have anyone to practice speaking with. And our final binomial for today is every now and then. Every now and then basically just means occasionally, sometimes, not all the time. I use Facebook Live every now and then, but I don't use it every week. I don't eat red meat every day, but I do eat it every now and then. So those are all of our binomial expressions for this video, but if there are any other ones that you would like me to talk about, please let me know and I will try to talk about them in a future video. Thank you for watching.